So what we have here is the 4830D, and I have switched to a much more realistic situation where the external interface has just got a static IP version 6 address. And I thought this would, of course, protect it from the flood. But I was surprised that it doesn't. Now here, if you look at the IPv6 routes, it's not very long. And if you look at the IPv6 addresses, there's only a few because it's not automatically configuring them. And the pings are responding all the time, so this device is doing just fine. But you can see the effect if you just look over in resources. So take a look at my Linux box here. I'm just sending one router advertisement per second here, which is having no effect at all. But when I send this flood here, watch this thing over here, and you will see that the 40 gate goes up to 68, and it'll eventually go up to 100%. What's happened now is it's very slow to, re to refresh this thing. It does burden the router. It doesn't freeze it completely. For example, if I go here and try to look at those again, I can do it. It's just slow, like a machine without enough RAM. But of course, what it really is is a machine without enough CPU, because even though it is ignoring the router advertisements and throwing them away, it is consuming all the CPU to do that. So there is still a problem here. And that's what I want to... Oh, let me turn this off. You'll see how fast it recovers. This is not that... When you stop it, you can just look up here and the CPU drops immediately down, immediately down to zero again, and then you're fine. And unlike the previous case, there's no permanent damage here that I can detect. It doesn't have any extra addresses. It doesn't have any extra routes, as it shouldn't. But it still does burden it quite a lot, and this could really happen on a real network. That flood of unimportant packets that the router will ignore still hogs up all the CPU, so that's not good. Okay. Thank you. I'll send it up. It's still running.